No barking! Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter where it's all about making better videos. Today I'm starting a new series entitled Around the Studio or ATS for short. And this is just gonna be a series of videos of stuff I'm doing around the studio. I have lots of plans, upgrades, storage solutions. So that's what the series is gonna be about. Me putzing around, showing you DIY projects, all that fun stuff. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a really simple storage solution for gear in the studio, as well as a really sweet DIY control panel I'm building for the editing suite. And finally, some baby status updates. So first up, let's talk about storage. That's a big problem when you have a studio and just in life in general, there's so much stuff. And I'm finding that in the studio, it's kind of cumbersome to use bags and pull things out of bags, store bags. So I decided to come up with a system and it actually started using Amazon boxes. If you're like me, you love Amazon Prime and you get a ton of stuff from them. After one order came in, I had a bunch of these little boxes lying around that I hadn't thrown out yet. As they were sitting on my desk, I threw a couple of things in them and realized they're a great size for just storing random stuff. So I started collecting these instead of throwing them out and they turned out to be great little storage boxes. So I'd put them on shelves, I'd label them with tape and store all kinds of stuff in them. And over time I had quite the collection of these little boxes. The problem came that they weren't very stackable and they didn't have lids. You couldn't see what was inside of them unless you just read the label. So while I was out at Myers getting supplies, I picked up a bunch of these shoe box style boxes and they were great. They're you know, a little more rigid, they're stackable, they're clear, they're great boxes. But I realized if I was gonna keep up this style of organization, it was gonna get somewhat expensive even using Amazon to buy these style boxes. So one day I was at Lowe's and I found this pack of 10 shoe boxes and they're wicked cheap. They're not as well made as other boxes, but they work great. The main thing is they were really, really inexpensive and you could buy 10 at a time. I believe the price came out to under a dollar per box. So finally I was able to categorize and store all this random stuff, whether that be tools, supplies for making things, as well as actual gear. Then I ran into another problem and that was I didn't have a nice shelf system for all of these boxes. So on the other side of the camera, back on that wall, I've got this monster shelving unit for the basement studio. And I would just stack them, but then if I needed something on the bottom, it was kind of a hassle. They would start to lean and tip. So the next step was to build a shelf for these things. I went ahead and got some cheap pine and built uh, this shelf that you see here. And I built this shelf to the exact height of the boxes as well as the depth. And I'm able to fit four boxes wide by one high per shelf. I also designed it so that it would fit nicely underneath the stairs in the basement. And I can't tell you how invaluable that's been for pulling things out, making stuff, storing gear. I have more plans to build big rolling cabinets for this studio space, which we'll get to in another video. Long story short, there's some great ways to store gear. If you have little trinkets, even if you don't use a studio that much, it can be nice to store random gear and other things and keep it really organized. Another project I'm working on is a DIY control panel or control box. Essentially, it's just a box with 10 switches on it. But the beauty of this is I'll be able to turn on and off anything that's AC power or DC 12 volts. So stay tuned for that video. I distressed the box to kind of make it look like some kind of Star Wars TIE fighter meets modern day jet switch box. So stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be lots of fun. And uh, as you can see here, I already have part of it working with my speaker setup and uh, it's gonna be really modular. You can completely remove and unplug everything and use it in a different way. So gonna be sweet, stay tuned for that. And then finally, no baby, baby. Uh, we're at this point almost a week overdue with my firstborn and uh, so we're waiting on that. So I'll keep you guys updated, but if you don't see a video or two or three, that's why uh, any day now, gonna have that kid.
So that does it for this episode of Around the Studio. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. As always, you can watch new videos here every single Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you subscribe, drop some comments, let me know if you'd like to see a specific video or review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.